Hello! So, I want to go back to something slightly more simpler today. So I'm going to be putting together a feather. And I'll show you how to use alphas to make very simple feathers with very little effort and very little performance issues. So I'm first of all going to delete all of this, get rid of that default cube, and bring in a plane. And now this is our feather. I'm going to hit shading. And go into hit new because we need a material. And then I'm going to press Control T because I have Node Wrangler. If you don't, you can just go add texture and then image texture. But I'm going to go Control T. Then I just need to find my feather, which I have in here. And that is my feather. But as you can see, this is not particularly nice looking. Let's add in a really quick HDRI just to. Um, properly light it up. Let's go for the sunflowers one. There we go. So, as we can clearly see, this is in fact a feather, but we've got these big black areas along the side. We don't want that, so we're going to get rid of that next. So, back to the material here. Move this out of the way. What we need to do is to plug something into the alpha. And almost immediately you can see that it has in fact done something, but it's made it a little bit too transparent. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a ramp. And then we can adjust this like so. And bring the blacks up a little. Bring this down. So a little bit further up, no, nope, a little bit lower. And all we're trying to do is just to match this up so that we have our feather looking normal. Uh, I'd normally use constant for this rather than B-spline because it just means you can just roll on one individual one. Perfect. So now we have our feather. Uh, it's still flat. We could use a solidify if we wanted to. But that does leave little gaps, so it would be better off probably actually extruding it downward. But what we're going to um, do next is looking to color the model. So let's add another ramp. But this time we're going to change this to a sort of a dark brownish color. Pull it up until we start to get a little. But we don't want loads. This is mostly just like around the rim. And then the furthest away color, I'm going to keep as white. I'm going to add in another color in the middle. Let's go for like a yellowish color, but really a light yellow. Let's add in another one. We're going to go up here for this one. Add in a sort of a brownish color. And the more different ones you add in here, the better it'll look. So let's go for it an orangey colour here. And this one's going to come down here. I don't want it to switch on to be a bright orange. I don't want a green either. Uh, I don't think I want it to be red. And I think I'm going to come up more this way because it's going to be the actual like general colour part of it. Rim. And then roughness. We can actually make use of the roughness from this. We actually don't need the ramp here. Get rid of that. And use that roughness and we can even with a bump mat into the normal we can even bring the color into the height here so we will want to probably be on non color data um which is fine because the um color ramp we have used um doesn't rely on color data Over. And then we are left with our feather that we can make small tweaks to by just dragging this way or dragging it up. So if we want to make it a little bit more sort of spindly with a little bit shooting out, we can just drag this up. 
and we can drag it down the other way for. Like this. 